there is fire on the mountain this is really getting serious guys i hope you're following up on what is going on in the Edo State House of Assembly because this saga is really serious because right now it has taken a spiritual dimension. You would not believe what uh, we actually saw today, you know. Uh, priestesses, Tom Edo House of Assembly complex and lay courses on Governor Baseki's enemy, says anyone. Hmm. Anyway, details of this will come to you shortly, but before then, guys, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell and also give this video a thumbs up. This is really getting exciting and getting funny just because of an election that will last for just one day. I don't think we should go this far anyway. But anyway, let us dive right into the details of of this report as it says that the Edo State House of Assembly impeachment saga took a spiritual dimension on Friday morning as priestesses of Edo extraction laid courses at the assembly gate. They compromised they comprised of priestesses of traditional worship centers across Benin Kingdom. Speaking of on behalf of them, the priestess of Ekute Tebite Negwogo group, Princess Inuboku Ima Senwebo said she inherited a symbol of authority as Juju priestess from her grandfather and whatever she pronounced on anyone will be so. I was at home when I saw on television the crisis at Edo House of Assembly. I heard some of the things said that some people from other ethnic groups are trying to turn Benin upside down. We Benin people don't like what they are doing. APC is oppressing Obaseki. That is mere oppression. They want to oppress our, our, our Obaseki, our own governor. Why am I interested in the, in the matter is that we did not have access road to my community before Obaseki came and became a governor. We used to spend so much to come to Benin, but now we can travel in and out of our community with ease. No more erosion. For that reason alone, I must support Governor Obaseki for a second term. Whoever says he will not turn the state, whoever says he will turn the state upside down to rig the election, let the heads of our ancestors torment them. Obaseki is a peacemaker. He gave us amenities of life. And for that reason, I have to back him up with my strength. Princess Imaswe Wembo assured that Obaseki will be re-elected governor again for another four years. Nobody will grab it from him. And whoever says he will turn the state upside down to subvert the wishes of the people, Help us tell such people that the head of an, our ancestors will torment them. All the deities of our, of our Benin kingdom should torment them, she warned. Whoa, this is actually really, really serious. Because it is uh, about the Edo State House of Assembly issues. I believe if you are following this story, really, you will understand that uh, the APC actually said that they are more than those that uh, that they can do anything that they already have 17 members that five members cannot determine what will happen in the house of assembly that they can do whatever they want and if you're following it really you will see that apc has actually you know gone ahead to inaugurate their own speaker and deputy speaker like they earlier said like it was earlier alleged and really that was what they did they already have uh, a speaker because they said 17 cannot be compared to uh, seven and they said so the others are inconsequential that they are more than the other people so really and you know in the house of assembly it is about uh the more the merrier you know just as they make a vote the more people that you know uh, have a particular agreement on a particular thing they are the ones that have that vote and they said they are already in agreement that they are 17 and cannot be compared to those in pdp and those are working for basaki that are just seven so he said that they will go ahead and do whatever they like. And, you know, these priestesses took it upon themselves. You know, earlier today also, if you are following up, you will see that the youth and the women also came out in mass and also came to protest that whatever the APC are doing, that it is, it, 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 it is not good, that they want peace during this election, that whatever they are trying to do now is causing tension in the state and 
is about to cause violence and you know so many people so many groups are beginning to come up and earlier today too you can see that the priestesses of the land has also come out to lay a course on anyone that wants to you know rig the election or even try to cause any tension or violence in the state that they said obaseki has done so much for them and they cannot just close their eyes and act like he has not done anything for them that obaseki did a lot of things for them that even before now their community were full of were eroded by erosion but it was when obaseki came that they forgot about anything called erosion and this time also he said even their community is not accessible that they had serious bad roads that they cannot even travel from their community to benin that it could take them hours sometimes days but now they can easily travel they can do what they want that what else could they be asking for that that is the kind of governor they want and they said anyone that plans against obaseki for his second term not to be successful that such a person that they use the head of their ancestors to cause such a person that is a very serious course to be laid on anybody you know the Benin kingdom is an ancient uh, uh, kingdom and they believe so much in their ancestors they believe so much in some of these their traditional rights and all of that and if the priestesses from different communities have agreed and laid this kind of course I believe anyone that has been involved in uh, you know permutating election things they will have to desist because of course you cannot tell what will happen nigerians still believe so much in these things and they are likely going to happen whatever nigerians believe that's what they, uh, uh, normally happens you know so guys it is getting hotter and messier and i really hope that uh, uh, the president really has to address this because really in the midst of all of this he hasn't really said anything rather they are preparing for the uh, flag of uh, campaign of uh, is they Iyamuda will be held on Saturday, which is not supposed to be. Nigeria is still our own, and Nigeria is still everybody's business. It is still our business, and that is the number one priority. That once there's a tension in a particular state, it should be able to, you know, address it immediately, especially when it has to do with uh, election, because these parties are very close to having their elections, and there are so many issues surrounding this election. I believe it should have addressed the nation and addressed the state concerning this and also call the, his party to order that whatever the is going to be will be and they should just be peaceful and make sure things are going well in the Edo election if he's really fighting corruption then he should stand and fight corruption and ensure that the uh, Edo state election is peaceful it is credible you know so all of this really he hasn't really come out to say anything and we hope that he really comes out to speak about the Edo state election though he might not be happy deep down that his candidates actually have some pending cases against him but then they've already chosen their candidates and that is it all he has to do is to support just because he's a member of his party but really we know what is going down but all the same guys you've heard it all Whatever you have to say, please endeavor to drop it in the comment section because this is getting really, really serious. The priestesses are not smiling. They are not taking it easy on anyone. So drop your comments. I would like to hear from you. And also, if you have uh, not liked video, please ensure you do so. Thank you for staying tuned. Do have a pleasant time.